Hello everyone, my name is Marc Hervieux. We are at CES here. I'm IoT Marketing Manager. I'm going to talk about the partnership we have between ST, a semiconductor company, and the operators. Uh, these operators are uh, Verizon and AT&T and are developing LTE, CATM network and NB-IoT later on that uh, are very adequate with the ST product portfolio. We are talking about microcontroller and, and sensors uh, and we are talking about low bit rate, long range battery and low power devices. So uh, the first one I want to present is uh, the Verizon one, and the, the value we wanted to present in this uh, in this de development kit, in this starter kit, are of three nature. The first one we want that to be an IoT enabler, meaning uh, a lot of sensors, a lot of capabilities, uh, even more than than we can normally use in one use case, but uh, providing a lot of options for the customers. The second one is the sensor to the cloud experience. It's important that we do not stop just to send data out, but we also try to present those data so the customer can make use and very easily manipulate uh, those, those dev kit um, and, and gain on time to market because this is at the end what we are looking for. Uh, <clears throat> and the most important thing that we wanted to have is to simplify the cellular experience. It's not easy. There's some stuff and, uh, that are not uh, easy to, to, to manage. And uh, we are presenting a great tool to ease and to, again, accelerate this time to market um, for, for all of you that are developing products. On the side, certification is important. Um, <clears throat> and we have been some, uh, some good step to help on, the, on, on that side as well. So first of all, the, the hardware. Uh, so on the hardware, we, have, we are working on, with an IoT discovery kit that is based on all the development kit that I'm going to present today. And this board is a, uh, it's a concentration of technology, basically. It's a loaded of feature of sensors uh, with accelerometer, gyro, magnometer, humidity, temperature, pressure, uh, time of flight for proximity sensors, and also uh, a couple of microphones there. It is all articulated around an STM32 that is STM32L4, it is in the middle here, and it's also uh, getting a lot of local connectivity. I'm talking about NFC, BLE, sub gigahertz, uh, and obviously the Wi Fi will be replaced by the LTE, CATM, and NBIoT. And for that, we have done an extension, and here's a modem that ST has, uh, has developed. Uh, for Verizon, we are also able to provide the SIM card because uh, we, are, we have the product for the right profile for, for Verizon as well. Uh, I wanted to present you the, the software side of the, uh, the Xcube Cellular that is a package that is published on the ST network. So it is running on the STM32 and the big value of that package is that it is including a cellular driver. The value of that is that it's isolating the application from the complexity of the modem. Meaning what? Meaning that all the APIs that you have that are presented to the application are ultra simple, super simple. You connect, you send data, you receive data. You don't even know that you are on a cellular network. So this is an application that is an HTTP client that is going to present to a dashboard later on uh, on the cloud. And basically, the cellular driver will, is going to do all the work of setting up the communication, managing the communication, even managing the errors. But, uh, because again, we are on a cellular, so we can be moving and losing signal. So it's very important to do all of this. And it's going to send the right AT commands to the modem. And we're talking about the module that is a certified module on the Verizon network. Basically, this is what the rendering is that you have here on the, on the, on the, on the board. You are able to see uh, all the various uh, sensors and to see them moving around, temperature, humidity, pressure, but you are able also to control back an LED, so showing a back and forth communication with, uh, with the board. The second application I wanted to, to show and the dev kit I wanted to show is the Amazon FreeRTOS. And actually, it's a little bit closer to the product because the cloud solution is no more an HTTP example. It's really something much more real. This is uh, uh, basically an AWS core from Amazon. So Amazon has created um, what they call Amazon FreeRTOS that is basically a distribution for microcontrollers. And what we have done is that we have inserted in that distribution the cellular driver middleware. Again, all the value that I, I was presenting before apply to this solution. I'm going to provide you a little bit more detail right after. And it is generating the right AT command for the modem. 
So um, if you look at the cellular driver, all the values and a little bit more detail than that. So first of all, uh, you don't need to be an expert to develop applications for cellular anymore, right? This is going to, to help you in a, in a big way. Um, <clears throat> it's going to present a simple application, a BSD-like API uh, for the application level. It's also going to present the AL for the, an abstraction layer for the AT command. And why is this important? Is that because you want maybe change the modem and use another modem that fits better your, uh, your business model. <clears throat> so for that, it's a very simple file to change inside the code. And you're able to, uh, to control and change to, uh, to a different language of AT, AT, AT commands. Because unfortunately, all the module makers, even the, the chip makers of cellular radio, do not have the exactly same AT commands. But they are commonly uh, you know, having the same language, roughly, but the, with a different syntax. So we are able to adapt to those syntax inside the middleware. So that's pretty important. Error management, again, very important at the device level, at the network level as well. Then certification. We have added certification features inside the middleware. And why? Because some features are not supported inside the module. And I expected the application to do that. Uh, so typically for Verizon, we had to insert the GSMA, TSA, TS34, and 35 that are a mechanism to manage when there are errors on the network so every device do not uh, uh, overload the network at the same time, so kill the network. So this is, these are protections that uh, Verizon requires for the certification that are not supported by the module maker that we have to do. So just to help, again, the, um, uh, the developer to go faster to market. And also what is important is that this dev kit from Verizon is distributed by Arrow. Uh, so you have an Arrow landing page and you have also a Verizon landing page on which all those, that kit is detailed and you're able to, to acquire the solution. So what is important as well is that the, the modem used in the Verizon dev kit um, is uh, Quectel BG96 and is able to feature um, LT CATM, NB-IoT, and 2G fallback. So basically, we have tested this device on real NB-IoT networks, so we know it works. Uh, and, uh, and Verizon is going to de deploy later on is, uh, uh, their, their uh, NB-IoT network. So this kit is going to be ready and future-proof for when those uh, networks will be up and running in, in the, after deployment. So let's talk about uh, the uh, AT&T network now. This is uh, a network that is LT CATM uh, today, deployed nationwide in US. Uh, they have done a very nice job of, uh, of presenting the AT-IoT starter kit in a box like this uh, with the ST solution. And this has been created with Avnet uh, as a main partner. So Avnet is uh, manufacturing the modem here, the shield uh, on top of the IoT discovery kit. ST is presenting all the code that is on the STM32. So this solution is basically presenting data from the sensor to the cloud, and the cloud is an, uh, is an at and flow uh, that is uh, going to store and, uh, and get all the, the raw data. And from that, you can connect to AWS, Azure, and others from cloud to cloud. This is uh, their way of uh, working with the ecosystem. So I hope those desk skips are going to be very helpful for you for your different applications. And we thank you very much for your attention.